The question on everyone's mind, is there going to be a hostage deal between Israel and Hamas? Is this going to include a ceasefire? Why is this taking so long? So just to recap, there are 134 hostages that were kidnapped on October 7th that are held in the Gaza Strip. Until now, 105 of them were released in a hostage deal in November of 2023. Four were released earlier and three were rescued by the IDF. Israel and Hamas broadly have agreed on how much humanitarian aid is going to enter the Gaza Strip during the hostage exchange, as well as the phases that it'll include, the terms of the truce, and other all kinds of technicalities. The two major disagreements between the sides relate to with how many Palestinian prisoners are going to be released and what is going to happen after that in the Gaza Strip. Hamas is demanding the release of over 1,500 Palestinian prisoners who are in Israeli jails. Importantly, they include also 500 who are sentenced to life in prison. These include the leaders of terror groups that Israel has arrested over the years. Israel, in turn, is demanding the release of far less Palestinian prisoners and vetoing the release of certain prisoners like Marwan Barghouti, the head of the Palestinian Tanzim. In addition to this disagreement regarding what happens next, in the Gaza Strip is divided into two. First of all, Hamas is demanding that Palestinian civilians be permitted to return, return to the northern parts of the Gaza Strip. Israel is refusing this. In addition, Hamas is demanding that the truces end and that the, the last hostages only be released after a complete ceasefire and idea of withdrawal from the Gaza Strip. Israel, in turn, is saying that it's demanding the truces be limited and no ceasefire be included. Right now, the next two weeks are critical. Ramadan begins on March 10th, and that is a very, very critical date. Hamas would like to see the deal happen during the month of Ramadan, and the United States and Egypt are also pushing for this. Israel has also said that if a deal is not reached by Ramadan, the IDF may invade Rafah. So right now, the parties are negotiating, and we're going to find out what happens in the next two weeks. If you're interested in more updates on the war, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I upload daily summaries of what's going on in the war and any major events. If you have any questions or comments, comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'm Alon Burstein. I'm a visiting assistant professor in the Department of Political Science at the University of California, Irvine. Thanks for watching.